how's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay. So at the end of the last one I said that this was going to be more of a writerly one um, and that it was entitled Considering Practicalities. Um, so there is a reason I want to do this one, um, and it is to do with stuff that is going on in my current writing project, which is the third book in the collection of the Never, Date, Never Rating stories. Um, so I've made some um, some interesting decisions, and this is not just in the third book, in the second book. Uh, I say second book, but they're, they're supposed to be sort of like readable in every any order, uh, but in the colours I see. I made a particular decision um, in regards to an event that you do know about from reading Hyena Boy, but you get to see a bit more of what kind of happens after that, um, just because of how the story goes. Um, I made a decision in that uh, that kind of had a few ramifications and a few things that I then needed to think about going into the third book. Um, just on a practical kind of level because it's one of those things where you can kind of go okay it's creative license you don't necessarily need to spell things out for people people can kind of work out how things can sort of work and it's kind of like at the same time well, yes and no I've made a decision here which would impact this particular character in a very particular kind of way um, and make certain things a little trickier um so maybe kind of having a general idea of how that works and like how you can practically work it into the story so the audience has kind of got a oh, okay yes this is a bit unusual but actually no i can see it working if these are sort of the rules and, and, and how it can kind of go about um not going to be any <laughs> not going to be more specific than that um because I don't want to spoil things too much. Um, but it, it does mean that I ended up with this sort of thing underpinning um, the third book, which kind of makes sense because it is something that would have become an issue for this particular character based on the indication of what's happened to this particular character. Um, in the event that you are aware of from Hyena Boy and then from The Colours I See, which of course I'm going to suggest, but we'll get there. <laughs> um, but because of the, you know, there, there was definite trauma there, there would have definitely been an impact there and kind of exploring the sort of the nature of that, uh, it kind of makes sense that this practical side of things, sort of once you, you kind of start referencing it and once you kind of acknowledge that actually that is something you have to think about if you've given a character something like this um kind of becomes a sort of underpinning theme throughout the story a little bit um to the point where you kind of almost realize the trauma that this character must have gone through on a sort of better level just based on you know the the practicality and the nature of which of the things that you have to sort of consider in that was a really badly worded sentence and I apologise. Um, I hope you kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to say there. So you already had like a few hints and references sort of there um, within the story and, and within certain decisions that I've had to make to sort of kind of get around um, this particular issue in like a, a practical and realistic sort of way like you know how would this work in the real world um and then I made another decision in the third book which because I already covered the practical side of this this other thing and it was the same sort of thing that you know people might wonder about um I did make the decision to kind of not 100% explicitly but yeah, actually pretty much <laughs> explicitly enough covered this practical issue again from the, the, the now situation that I kind of 
formed because of the decision that I made. It was it's one of those things that once you kind of address the issue because of a certain set of circumstances, when those circumstances are altered slightly, then you've also got to show how the situation has altered slightly. Um, so I, I've ended up with this theme sort of going on through the background, which has kind of strengthened um, the implication of the trauma that this particular character has has suffered and has gone through. And I think it kind of strengthens the understanding of it. And it's one of those things that in previous stories that I've written, I've kind of stayed away from a little bit. I've kind of like, oh, no, I don't need to explain the practical side of this. People can figure it out for themselves. But because you were then writing from the point of view of the particular character in question and it's a first person narrative and it is one of those things where I felt like it needed to be addressed but addressing it kind of yeah it is essential and important for understanding the character and understanding what the character has been through so yeah if you if you make a decision on something that's going to have practical ramifications so how that character kind of interacts with the world and does so certain things then you've got to consider that and whether or not you then sort of include it within the narrative can make a huge difference because like I said I didn't address it in the second book in, in the colours I see so much or at least not in that that kind of detail obviously there were some things that you know I, I did put in that I know was kind of there because it kind of had to be there and to sort of shape the understanding once I was actually then kind of writing from that character's point of view I was like yeah no I need to I need to clarify how certain things work because that's going to work better in the narrative of the story and it worked better for the narrative of the character as well and certainly like how they change and their like changing relationship with the particular issue that has caused need for the consideration of the practicalities um yeah it's it's definitely something that i found has helped a lot with writing the third book um so it is one of those things that i would definitely say to people oh, are you looking to you know do something with your characters that might have practical ramifications of, about certain things um have you considered exactly how to apply that or whether or not you're going to sort of specify how that kind of works for this particular character and and stuff like that so yeah it, it's one of those things that I've definitely found for me has made the story better to sort of contextualize these issues and contextualize the character's relationship with you know how they can face the world and how they can deal with certain things that everybody has to deal with but because they've got whatever it is that it becomes a bit more difficult for them to do it in a way that necessarily everybody else does and it's yeah it's been interesting <laughs> it's definitely been interesting and um, it's a little bit harder I think to sort of define and talk about when I'm trying really hard not to spoil anything um but at the same time, as I said, it's one of those things that it's been really good to sort of certainly doing the third work and having to write from this character's point of view and, and having to sort of make certain decisions about how certain things would work. Um, it kind of gives a better understanding of the character and a better understanding of their mindset and, and everything else. And yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, can't think what else to say on this one, uh, particularly because of the whole I don't want to spoil anything. Um, so I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys have sort of found this one intriguing, if nothing else. Um, certainly, if you want to maybe try and guess at what it is, pick yourself up a copy of Hyena Boy. Um, if you want to get a definite idea of what I might be talking about uh, when The Colours I See comes out, definitely read that because you'll get what practical things that I'm having to consider. <laughs>
as soon as you reach a certain point in the story. Um, but, you know, I, I'm not doing a particularly good job of self-promotion my book, am I? <laughs> All right, okay, so with that said, um, next time is again going to be a um, writerly one and it was kind of titled vague but precise I think I'm actually going to shift that title slightly and make it vague versus precise so writing in a vague way versus writing in a precise way um, in but it's basically going to be a bit of a continuation of this one but I'm not going to worry I, I can use examples from other things and yeah <laughs> she says um okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this one i hope you're sort of looking forward to the next one um and i will see you next time see ya <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya